All right, hello and welcome back to this fourth round modern history draft. Playing against Joe Zero Max on Red Deck wins. Let's get going. So we were just talking before the match, this is either going to be a very fast match or a very slow one. Joe has six one-drop creatures in his deck and a bunch of twos and threes. Actually not very many threes, it's a little high on his curve, so um, he's trying to get in the game pretty quickly. And I'm trying to make the game last as long as possible, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, one with a four, five. Hand seems fine, not incredible. Um, Doomblade for any early stuff. Um, Duress to get some burn spells out. Staring Visions to set something up. Staring Bridge is actually kind of slow in this matchup, but um, could be good. So for some, I was looking at Joe's deck earlier and some specific cards we care about. Um, he's got a couple of land destruction spell, or yeah, land destruction, Fulminator Mage, Molten Rain can deal with our uh, Inkball Nexus, such, um, and a couple of artifact destruction as well. Um, he actually, at least in the first two rounds, he had Destructive Reverie main deck, which was interesting. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Now we got Zergo, it's pretty dangerous. Uh, but also mana leak. So I think it's just suck in ruins and then keep mana leak up. Probably just take two from Zergo and see what happens. It's a little awkward we can't duress with that without making black mana off sunken ruins and tapping two lands. Maybe we could Serum Visions duress, or vice versa, with the information first. Just take two here. Don't need no life. What, you think he's playing Red Egg Winds or something? Wow, fail at typing. Alright. Um. <coughs> so this is a little unfortunate. We could keep it, continue keeping Mental League up, or just try to duress him and serum vision something. And then have one mana doing pretty much nothing. And then just keep taking damage from the Zergo, which is awkward too. The other option is just leave up Doomblade, Metalink, and Serum Visions now. Um, we don't really know what, he, what kind of a hand he has though. No two drop creature interest is interesting. I think we're not really going to have a better chance to Serum Visions. Let's just do that now.
Keep taking damage. I'm just going to die to Zergo at this rate. It's fine. Um, it's staring bridge. The last great hope. That's actually a really good dealing click draw. Gets rid of CGN Commander and lets us kill something else with the go for the third if we need to. Um, we play Gilded Lotus into click. Is that the play? Click can block something too, of course. Their option is just click and go for the throw, but that does that seems worse. turn, let wait until he's got, um, wait until he takes just any end step stuff, let him bolt me to four, okay. Click on draw step, target you. Commander on the bottom because if it resolves, it's just all kinds of problems. So, Zergo's at 3 3, that's fine. Obviously, blocking with click. Unless he draws a burn spell right now, in which case, all of this is academic. Attacks. Okay, it's fine. Um, not really sure what he's gaining by not attacking there. Seems like I mean, you may as well just just make me block with the click. Um, he did have main deck destructive reverie before, so I'm not going to risk everything on this bridge. 
Although he would need another creature at the same time. Because I can block. Um. I'll just not attack, it does nothing. So we're just straight dead to any burn spell. Which is unfortunate, but. It's how your red deck wins. That awkward point of the game where I've managed to stop it like I want, but still just dead at any moment. Drawing something like a cryptic command would be pretty sweet right now. Or an expedition map, I guess, whatever. It's kind of the same thing. Um, what do we want with that? Probably just an ink wealth nexus. Just start putting a little. Start, start trying to close the game out. Um, sacrifice, fetch, another option is Academy Ruins, which can also actually get back Expedition Map and then go find an Ink Moth, but that just seems too fancy, let's just, just go straight for that, straight for the Moth. Winning with Moths, as usual. Gotta draw something, right? Like, we're giving him so much time right now. Hero of Oxid Ridge can't attack. There's that cryptic. Alright. So that, that's a, that makes it feel a lot better, actually. That gives us some insurance against a top deck burn spell. Um, none of these guys have reach. Why would they? Start the moth plan. So he can't actually attack with Zergo right now, it feels like it, but I mean, nor is in two, and I can always just kill it multiple ways, so it should be alright. Tesseret. It's a little awkward. Um, it can make a blocker, but that seems mostly irrelevant. Um, it can make Ink Moth into a 5-5, five five, but then it can't attack, so that's the thing, I guess. Um, I guess he'll just start taking up and finding some cards and uh, gaining me some life is actually probably his biggest job right now. So let's go with that. Try to find some artifacts. And I'll run out that talisman we just got off of Tesseret. Um, turn on the moth. Get mothin'. Um, obviously I didn't think this through all the way, and Cryptic is now dead. No, just kidding, it's not. We have four mana. 
I'm so good at counting to four. That's one of my top skills, actually. Goblin Guide is another attacker. Um, let's, I'm not, I'll let it resolve. I may, however, kill one of these guys at the start of combat. Just so he can't attack with two, two twos. Um, out of these... Who do I want to kill is a real question. I think it's just Hero as the best creature on the board, even though it can't attack for a while. If he, if he finds that destructive reverie and breaks the bridge, then, um... And I don't want to deal with that. If he, of course, if he, if he has that burn spell now, then that is game, and that does it. G, G. Assuming points at me, I mean he's not going to kill Thezzeret, you would think. that burn spell. So we were maybe greedy on the last turn, didn't need to play all the talisman and the tech moth and all of that. Should have held back with six mana for the kill spell and the cryptic. That would have avoided a lot of problems. But, I mean, that's, that's how it is. Okay, sideboarding, gotta take out the monster package way too slow. I almost think Bridge might be too slow. Um, I actually did the most hate drafting in the deck against this deck. So Witchbane Orb stops his burn, Spell Sky stops some burn, Flash Freeze is amazing of course, Drown in Sorrow and Infest, he's got a lot of X2s. Flip side, Jace is kind of slow as a win condition. I don't know, I kind of think that Snaring Bridge is going to be slow, but especially trying to fabricate for it, so that could be two cards there to cut. On the other hand, it did help quite a bit that game, so <laughs> maybe not. Um, Expedition Map is not as important without Mind Slaver, don't need to get the Academy Ruins for Recursion. And then, uh, same thing with Talisman, it's not as important to ramp up. Um, I think like that is probably okay. Strix does a good job of blocking, he's got not a lot of 4 drops, but they're, they're important to stop. Those spells of course, counter spells. Tesseras are both still fun. The rest hits a lot of stuff. Thoughtseize costs life, but it does hit something that will probably cost more than two life. So, yeah, anything else here? Now's but well, no. Life and Zombie and Gate, maybe, but I don't think it's better than anything. See how that goes.
Well, that is quite awkward. Lots of lands. Tezzeret might do something eventually. Capsule is good. Capsule is the only reason I would keep this in. I think I'm going to try it and quite possibly lose because of it. We'll see how it goes. I mean, Island is the best card in the game, so having four of them in hand, that seems pretty good, right? And he would have the Goblin Guide. Reveal top card to all players. Swamp goes to my hand. Alright, that is like value. Pay two life, draw one swamp. Um, that's that's a pretty terrible card actually. I would not play a card that just said draw pay two life, draw a swamp. And two lands out of the top is exactly what we're looking for, so seems pretty good. Mountain Arid Mesa opener seems familiar. Alright, Doomblade is a little better. So it does it's it's better than a land at least. It lets us have some insurance against whatever he plays next. Which apparently does not have haste. Also okay with that. No two drops. Or one drops. That's very interesting. Like, I know he has a lot of burn spells, but he also has a lot of early creatures, and I feel like he wants to get them in play. Well, we got nothing to do. No end of turn burn either. That is very strange. Have to assume he boarded in some land destruction, his Fulminator Mage, um, Molten Rain. So raised his curve a little bit off of like 1.5 or whatever it was before. <laughs> Eidolon of the Great Rebel resolves. And we should probably just kill it now and take two. Flash freeze, okay. Well, I'd be getting somewhere. Okay, so just to really like bolts. Oh, just a stomping ground. Okay, sure. I like keeping my lands around. We've got this Tesseret that might do something, might not do anything. But, okay, well, sure. I 
I think the play here is just Tezzeret into Tide Hollow Strix. Find a bucker. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe he'll make some 5 fives later or something, it could happen. Oh, Spell Sky is another option actually, that might be a lot better. Um, it blocks and it redirects spells. Let's get that. Um, Witch Bane Orb, of course, another option. This guy's supposed to go. Seems better. So spell sight kind of turns off lightning bolt and uh, lightning helix at least. And mutagenic growth, I guess. Here's the destructive ovary. Alright. I will redirect it to spell sky. Seems fine. Obviously can't redirect the two damage. As cool as that would be. Alright, eight lands and a, dis and a disdainful stroke. That's my new bad name, ladies and gentlemen. We're not a very good band. We don't, don't have many hits yet. Just a lot of like splashing sounds really with these islands. I will disdainful stroke your rebel master. Maybe not. I was going to say it could be worse, we're, we're still at 15, but he has a Rebel Master, so it's going to get worse very quickly. Um, Tidal Strix blocks pretty well, so it's not the worst draw. He will still have two goblins, which run around doing their goblin thing, I guess. Joe is not too short on the lands either. He's got to just attack with Goblin directly, the Rebel Master. Just keep spawning that factories.
So we've got a lot of love draws. We've got Damnation, Infest, Drown in Sorrow. Go for the throat. Snaring Bridge is not the best, but it would do something. Yay! There goes the disdainful stroke. At least it had some value in its life. I guess. You do not, in fact, lose through life from your own lightning helix. That's not how that works. So, I'm taking a lot of damage here, that's 5, 8. Uh, seems good, I guess. West. Oh man, does that do anything? I think not. I can transmute for a Inkball Texas and block the Rebel Master once and then die to four goblins. Or I can get a um, Academy Ruins and bring back the Executioner's Capsule and then draw it next turn. So, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like game. Alright. That's how I thought that might go. I was hoping we could get something to slow him down some more, but... Um, just faster deck wins, I guess. That's how it works. game was really uh, exciting finish there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I misplayed pretty bad tapping down for Talisman and Igmoth for no reason and not leaving up just Cryptic and Doomblade, which would have saved me a turn at least. 
Can we uh, invite Sky? Sure. Let's see if I get him. Uh, I, I got him. Never. I couldn't. He wasn't appearing on my contact list for some reason. I was just glad you didn't Doom Blade the Goblin Guide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was pretty interesting at the end there. Um, so you're saying if you had played Go for the Throat on exactly the Goblin Guide, you would have won, I believe. Like any other combination of like Cryptic Tap Your Team or like anything else didn't work. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, uh, I could see bolting the Zergo instead of the, the Goblin Guide, but... Or not bolting, the Doom Blade. Killing the Hero of Oxid Bridge seemed a little strange since you already had so few cards in hand it was unlikely to be able to attack for the rest of the game. Yeah. I guess. My thought was uh. just if he... I knew he was main decking Destructive Reverie in the earlier matches. So right. And right, if, so you if, had to be if I was able to gain any life off of Tezzeret, then I'd rather have his biggest creature off the board. Right, okay. Yeah. He did just have to survive that turn. Sky got in, like, right at the end of that game. Yeah. Um. So. What were you saying? If I killed the other thing, then it would have worked for the... Oh, for Goblin Grenade. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. What, um... To walk us through, I guess, both of you, the, the sequence, like, around the Vendillion click turns. It was, like, Hunter was at seven, and then, um, I guess, like, first why, or why'd you cast a lightning bolt? I guess he reasons to and to not play it, I think. And then, um, did you think about just not casting a Targus command there? Um, well, the lightning bolt before was just because... I knew he had three mana up, but it was from one source. So if he was going to counter for any reason, I was going to try to force the mana at the end of his turn. Okay. I thought that it might be the Vidillion, but I also thought, okay, maybe he has something else up his sleeve. And I'd rather right. force it on his turn, or at least guarantee my three damage through. That and then sense. the Atarka was, I wanted to play the Atarka's command. I just needed to make sure that, because it was three damage, and I know he didn't have any mana up. Right. It was tricky because, like, if you gave, if, like, if you give him the option to take the command and then you draw a land and you cast a siege gang, life is great. And you probably win, but if you if you brick, then like it's really bad. <laughs> so, no, I um, wanted the guarantee three, and then I was just hoping to draw something extra to get that last point through. One more burn spell. Yeah, I went from thinking you were a huge favorite to thinking Hunter had a shot to thinking Hunter was probably gonna win. <laughs> to, <laughs> What did you the cryptic? Yeah. Yeah, that cryptic uh, was a huge yeah. cryptic was a the huge draw there. The Tezzeret was like, oh, well, now he only has to survive one turn. Yeah. Do the burn spell the last last opportunity. Um, was there a reason... And Sarah, uh, Bridge was awkward. Was there a reason you didn't attack after the command just to force me to kill a click? Um, because I didn't notice you had two cards in your hand. Yeah. I thought it was one card, so I still couldn't attack. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. Um, it was because I only had a 3-3, three, three, and I figured with you having one creature out, that if I could draw another small guy that could attack at some point in the future, I just needed to get that last point through. I'd rather have two creatures on the field. Okay. Trading didn't make sense. All right, I, mean, I guess it didn't matter too much either way. Yeah, I can come up with a reason a good reason to trade or a good reason not to trade, really. I wasn't sure what was better there. To me, it made more sense to have another creature out. That way, if he had something to kill, that could kill my guys, maybe one of them gets through. Yeah. Was, um... The big thing that happened at the end of the second game was, um... Were Drown and Sorrow and Infest in the deck? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, burning that mutagenic growth uh, was probably not a good play. I, I thought of that like two seconds after I played it, because I remember he, I was the entire time that I had Mutagenic in my hand, because it was like in my starting hand, mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, this is perfect for if he ever draws one of those two minus minuses to everything. Mm -hmm. And then on yeah. that turn, I completely forgot that he had those cards, and I'm like, ooh, I can do some uh -huh. more damage. 
<laughs> it was so funny I had that it in my head the entire rest of the game, and I just yeah. like. But, but yeah, those, are, those Joe's deck is the reason I drafted those cards, and I was kind of sad not to see them. Yeah, he gave. Um, yeah, they gave Hunter two more outs. <laughs> we were because Sky and I were saying like, "Oh, look, he needs to draw damnation." What else is new? <laughs> 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 This seems familiar uh, somehow. Yeah. Anything else that worthy this guy? Uh. Oh yeah, uh, Joe, you cast Destructive Revelry thinking it was three mana in game two, and then didn't cast your Rebel Master because you tapped land and didn't realize you had a mana floating. Destructive Revelry is only two. Yeah. And were you thinking it was three the entire time? Like, even yes. in your previous games? Yes. I'm surprised no one caught that before, because I'm sure you've cast it at some point. I no, I noticed it at all. The first time. Oh, okay. The first time it's been relevant. But no, I thought it was one colorless, one red, one green. Yeah, you could have had the Rabble Master down a turn earlier, and uh, and been swinging with it and the tokens before. That was confusing. <laughs> yeah. What'd you guys think of my incredibly sketchy keep game, too? Um... Dom asked me what I thought of your hand, and as soon as I was about to respond, you captain played your first land, I said, I like it a lot less now that it's not a random six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I don't know, you could kill one thing and then not do anything for a while. Like, I think that it's pretty borderline. I definitely would have mulliganed under the new rule. <laughs> 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 Which I've, found my, I've said a couple times now. Like, yeah. the new rule is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was... It was pretty sketchy. I think you had enough, like, strong cards for the matchup, like, after sideboard, that I might have sent it back. But, um, yeah, it, it was very, very average. <laughs> or mediocre, maybe, is the right word. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not enough action, which you need early against a deck that's playing a bunch of goblin guys and shenanigans like that. Yeah. <laughs> goblins. <laughs> goblins on the board. Yeah, how's that feel now? You gotta, gotta win. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm I'm done. Never, yeah. Let's move Never on to the new draft. New draft. <laughs> <laughs> I figured we can talk about it tomorrow night when everybody's online, but maybe we can start a new draft and just like derp around, do a few rounds, and then after this one's over, we can like just all get online and do the the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because this has been fun, like the the drafting process took too long. Yeah. I don't like the idea of having to wait two months before I get to play matches again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took a while. It took almost exactly two months. It was like almost of the day. Wow. Or I think it was exactly eight weeks is what it was. I think it was 56 days. Okay. Yeah. Um... All right, so I guess that's it for the the early bird session of rotisserie draft. All right. <laughs> yeah, we um, shall reconvene at uh, what time? I think I have a match at eight thirty, but there's one before that. Um, Joe and I, other Joe and I, play at seven. Okay. So I think that's when that is. Um, I have not gotten a hold of Carney at all, by the way. Like huh. since I posted the schedule, so I'm a little nervous about that. Uh, I sent him a text. He hasn't replied. Am I supposed so. to play against him or? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. So we need to figure that out. But he did right. say he was available on the survey. Okay. So hopefully. Right. Well, I, will... I wish you guys good luck tonight because I will not be there. Ah, all right, yeah. well, thank you. Enjoy the pre release. Yeah. yeah, have fun with that. Best of luck. What color should I go? Green. <laughs>